Hello, my name is Lauren and I'm going to be playing Cinderella at the pantomime this year in Milton Keynes. Um, and I've been sent a list of questions to answer for you all. So here we go. Number one, sweet or savoury? Well, I do like both. I love a Sunday dinner, but I also really, really love chocolate biscuits. So I'm going to go with sweet for that question. Uh, number two, what is your favourite song? So I think my favourite song is Billy Joel's Always a Woman. I love that song. Uh, number three, what did you want to be when you were younger? Well, when I was young, I always wanted to go to Hollywood because I wanted to be the next Judy Garland. Um, I was very old fashioned as a child and I was really into Hollywood films and black and white films and I was also obsessed with UK Gold and watching um, Heidi High and programmes like that when all my other friends were watching Cartoon Network. Um, but yeah, I wanted to be the next Judy Garland. I think because she was the youngest of all the Hollywood stars that I loved. Um, so I felt like she was the closest to reach. Um, number four, who is your role model and why? Ooh, now I've got lots of role models and lots of people who inspire me. Um, like my dad is one of my role models. Um, but I think in terms of creatively and somebody that I aspire to be like, there's a performer called Anna Jane Casey. If you haven't heard of her, you should look her up. She's amazing. Um, basically, she's the, the biggest triple threat that I know. Um, and also, she's just a wonderful lady. And she's an amazing mum as well. And um, I hope one day I can be a, a mum and a performer like she is. Um, and yeah, she's just had the most incredible career because she's brilliant. Yeah, so she's my role model. Um, number five, fiction or non-fiction? Ooh, I'm going to have to go with fiction, especially at this time of year. Like, I do like a good fairy tale and I like to drift off and be taken to a different place. And especially when I go to the theatre, you know, I like to really be transported somewhere else and, like, away from normal life. I mean, as much as, you know, history is amazing, um, I'm going to go with fiction for my answer for that. Uh, number six, what is your pet hate? Ooh, I'm a little bit weird. Um, I've got one pet hate um, I really don't like it when people wet the bath mat um, yeah I think it's there to be nice and soft and warm when you get out of the shower once you're already dry but some people think you get out of the shower and you stand on it and you drip for ages and then you get your towel and then when I go to step on the bath mat it's already wet so yeah that's probably a weird one but that, that's my pet hate. Um, number seven, what is your party trick? Ooh, oh, I'm not very good at things like this. Um, your party trick. Probably that I'm quite flexible, so I can do the splits and things like that. Um, but nothing too adventurous. Um, number eight, home or away? Definitely home. Don't even have to think about that one. Um, yeah, London is now my home, but I call Newcastle home home. So I have home and I have home home um, because that's always my going to be my real home. That's where my family are. And my mum and dad are there and it's where I grew up and it's what I associate with home. Uh, so, yeah, home for me. Number nine, if you could invite three people to dinner, who would it be? OK, um, so I'm going to go with that this can be people who've passed away and that are no longer here, as well as people who are around now. So I'm going to say, number one, Gene Kelly, because I think he's an absolute legend. Um, number two, I'm going to go with Marilyn Monroe. And number three, I'm going to think of somebody different, um, just to change it up a little bit. I'm going to go with Dara O'Brien, the comedian, because he's a genius. And, yeah, I think that would be a really interesting dinner party. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to go with those three. And finally, number 10, how many roundabouts are in Milton Keynes? Loads, basically. <laughs> um, 
I've only been to Milton Keynes a few times and the thing I remember most is the roundabouts. Um, of course, I remember all the lovely people too. But um, gosh, I'm going to take a guess and say 75. It could be more. It could be a lot less. I don't know. But I'm going to say 75. There we go. Um, so that's it. They're my questions. And um, I hope you all come to the pantomime. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. And uh, yeah, that's all from me. Thanks a lot. Bye.